welcome to all the today's topic is pollination pollination is the process by which pollen is transferred to the female reproductive organs of a plant thereby enabling fertilization to take place as you are fully aware about this pollination that it is the process of transference of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower this is referred as a pollination why this pollination takes place why it is very important like all living organisms seed plants have a single major purpose to pass their genetic information on to the next generation it is a very important thing that it is only possible due to the pollination that the genetic recombination takes place that means that is the genetic information is transferred from one generation to another generation then the recombination takes place the reproductive unit is the seed and pollination is an essential step in the production of seeds in all spermatophytes spermatophytes mean the seed producing plants now this pollination is of two types one is the cell pollination another is the cross pollination this cell pollination is also referred as the homogamy this homogamy it has two types further autogamy and zygomatogamy this autogamy it takes place in the same flower the bisexual uh, this flower where the male and the female organs both are present and when here without the aid of any external agency the pollination takes place it is referred as autogamy and it is this zygomatogamy it here the, it takes place in the different flowers of same plant the plant contains the same flowers i mean that is it may be male and female but they are present on the same plant and when here this pollination takes place without the help of any external agency we call it the zygomatogamy now the cross pollination also referred as the zygomatogamy it is of two types it may take place through the biotic components or with the help of the abiotic components the biotic components are the anemophily that is the wind then these are the abiotic components sorry the abiotic components are the wind or the water whereas the biotic components are the entomophily the insects bats snails birds carbons now the types of pollination pollination it has generally two types the cell pollination and the cross pollination this cell pollination is also as therefore as the homogamy it is for the it has two types autogamy and the zygomatogamy this autogamy it is the pollination here the pollination takes place in the same flowers the bisexual flowers the plant contains the bisexual flowers when here the pollination takes place With, without the help of any external agency we call it the autogamy and like that in case of this zygomatogamy the different flowers of the same plant the same plant it contains the different flowers we can also say the male and the female flowers and when here this uh, the pollination takes place we call it also it is the cell pollination and the type is the zygomatogamy here in case of cross pollination it is also referred as a zygomatogamy it is further it takes place by the two types of factors the abiotic and the biotic factors abiotic factors are the wind when the pollination takes place through wind we call it is the anemophily when it takes place with the help of water we call it is the hydrophily but in case of biotic factors are the biotic type of cross pollination of the zygomatogamy here it uh, here in this case various biotic factors the living bacteria take play to uh, taking place 
in this type of pollination it may be these the insects bats snails and the birds so various types of uh, this uh, organisms carry out this process it may be the entomophily insects then it it's also known as crocophily the bees malacophily the snails and the ornithophily by the birds now the cell pollination it is the transfer of pollen grains from anthers to stigma of same or genetically similar flower it is possible only when anther and stigma they mature simultaneously homogeny here they mature at the same time we can see the anther as well as the stigma they mature uh, they mature at the same time and then the pollination takes place cell pollination is of two types as you we have already discussed about the autogamy and the genogamy this autogamy in autogamy what happens the pollen grains are transferred here in this case the pollen pollen grains are transferred from an enter to the stigma of the same flower like this this process takes place in the same flower what is in case of genogamy what happens here the pollen grains here the pollen grains are transferred from anthers to the from this anther or from the anthers of this flower to the corpus of the stigma of the another flower either same or genetically similar plant they are gen here this type of pollination takes place this type of cell pollination takes place in the genetically similar plants this genogamy is cross pollination physiologically so physiologically when you, here we observe that it is a sort of the cross pollination but ecologically it is the cell pollination ecologically it is the cell pollination here the different types of these the mechanisms takes place sometimes the bending sometimes the coiling of these this uh, style of the anther that takes place at this filament and the, then these pollen grains are naturally able to reach to this stigma without the help of the any external agency so that is why it is a cell pollen type of cell pollination now the controversies are the adoption of cell pollination what is the important as well we can say the similarities which help to carry out this type of pollination it may be the monocolony that the bisexually the very important flowers with both sexes it is a we can say the homo gamete type of this cell pollination that flower is very important flowers with the both sexes the bisexual flowers are required here homogamy when both the sex organs of flower mature at the same time very important thing in case of uh, homogamy it is very important that the both sex organs that is this uh, stamen and the corpus they mature at the same time for example in case of maribels it takes place calistogamy flowers remain close so that only cell pollination occurs here in, in this calistogamy what happens that the flowers doesn't open or for some time they remain closed till that the this pollination takes place inside in most of these cases flowers are chiasmogamous in beginning the flowering season but later on become calistogamous now <clears throat> this calistogamous flowers are the bisexual, bisexual flowers but never open they never open they produce seed set even in absence of the pollinators here this chiasmogamous flowers are invariably autogamous they are autogamous types of flowers in legume flower special type of calistogamy occurs here what happens in legumes the sex organs are closed in a structure which is formed by joining of some petals it is called scale this scale never opens so only cell pollination takes place so this is also big reason that this that mendel has selected the this p for his observations are for his experiments because it was our very important characteristics of that pea plant that there the pure this cell pollination takes place 
and your plant is camelena or the groundnut plant you are aware, aware about the groundnut plant in this in this camelena and the groundnut plant what happens calistogamy is followed by geocarpy formation of pure this fruit inside the full this soil these are the underground flowers which give rise to the seed such types of these seeds are known as our fruits we can say such types of fruits are known such types of fruits are known as geocarpy that's this process is known as geo these are the geocarpus fruits or we can call them the geocarpy the process of formation of fruits inside the soil in case of this calamela or viola oxalis extra they have both calistogamous and as well as the chasmogamous flowers both types of flowers are here present calistogamous they remain underground now and then another type of this cell pollination is the bud pollination this pollination occurs in bud stage before the opening of the flower so it takes place at the early stage before the opening of flower the pollination takes place it's commonly observed in case of wheat rice tobacco tomato etc this is the uh, cell pollination through homogamy and the mechanical devices here in the it is first style growing to bring stigma in contact with ripe anthers here in this case and in this is next what happens filament is curving over stigma the filament is these they curve over the, this is the stigma here these are the, uh, this uh, filament is they curve naturally bending takes place and the anther these pollen grains are dropped on the stigma and in this case what happens curved style bring this curve here this curved style this is the curved style here like this what it brings stigma in contact with the ripe anthers in case of potato this is observed in case of potato now here in this case normal position of stigma this is the normal position of stigma in case of the sunflower here so here like these structures are here are present this is the anther then from these with the help of these the here is the pollen grains they come in contact with the anthers here the the stigma curling to receive pollen grains the when the pollen grains are present here in these hairs we call them the brushes these what happens that this stigma it curves and comes in contact the hairs and from here it receives the pollen grains now the advantages cell pollination maintains purity of race very important it is very important for the, to maintain the purity of race and superiority of the variety however leads to inbreeding depression also if a given genotype is well suited for an environment cell pollination helps to keep the strain stable in the species in case of small or widely spaced flowers cell pollination is an advantage it reduces the wastage of pollen as pollen grains are non transmitted from one flower to the and there so we here the least waste wastage is observed or noticed there is no need of any external agency to carry out pollination it maintains the purity of a species now the disadvantage cell pollination causes no variation so no adaptation to the changing environment or potential pathogen attack less chance of the production of new species and the varieties progeny continuously they get weaker after every generation genetic defects can now be eliminated by genetic recombination and of spring can only avoid inheriting the deleterious attributes through a chance mutation arising in the gamete now the cross pollination cross pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from anthers of one flower to the stigma of a genetically dissimilar flower or we can say when the pollination takes place in between the two different flowers of two different plants but of the same species 
then it is called as the pro cross pollination or xenogamy this pollination we can see it may be monos in case of monoecious plants or the dioecious plants when the monoecious plant means if both male and female flowers here male and the female flowers they are present where they are present on the same plant when the male and the female flower are present on the same plant uh, the same plant but they here the flowers are male or the female so it is we can say it is the flowers are the unisexual such type of plant is referred as the monoecious plants now in case of dioecious plants dioecious plant here if male and female flowers are present on different plants and flowers are unisexual here again flowers are unisexual it is the male in fluorescence it is the female in in fluorescence both the plant contains both flowers male as well as the female here male as well as the female but from here the male this pollination takes place from this male to this female from this male to this female such the plants are the they we can say they have the flowers unisexual flowers but the plants are referred as the dioecious plants it prevents both autogamy and zygomy now the contrivances for the this cross pollination declare that is the unisexuality so in case of this unisexuality it is we can say the very important role this cross pollination takes place it plays very important role presence of unisexual flowers they confirm cross pollination self pollination is not reported in such flowers like in case of palms dead palms are the carica papaya dicogamy in many bisexual flowers of the plants stamens and carpels of a flower they do not mature at the same time so very important factor here the these the carpel or the stem they does not mature in the at the same time so the cross pollination is important they are not able here to go through the self pollination this trichogamy is of two types it may be pro tendere or it may proto gyne in this case pro tendere what happens when the anthers of a flower mature earlier than carpels here the anthers mature before the carpels it is called pro tendere but in this case when the, here the carpels of a flower they mature earlier than the stamens it is known as proto gyne it is observed in case of ficus bagalensis the banyan saracus and deca ashoka tree ficus religosa the people and aristolochia most of the plants are crucifiri and the rosaceae chasmogamy are the anthesis opening of the blooming of the flower but in the form of a flower is called anthesis hercogamy in some plants morphological barriers are formed in between the anther and the stigma of the same flower so cell pollination cannot occur and pollen grains from the anthers are unable to reach the stigma of the same flower in this condition only cross pollination is possible here in case of heterostyle what happens we call it it also the morphological self incompatibility there is difference in between the lingotha of the filaments of stamens and lingotha of the stoil in flowers of some flowers some of the plants they have long stamens but short style whereas some have the long style and short but short stamens so there is no cell pollination primula and jasmine have two types of flowers those are those flowers which have long style but short stamen and thumoid those flowers which have the long stamens and short styles prepotency prepotency is the growth of pollen grains of cell pollinator 
pollen grains in here is very slow and growth of the pollen tube of cross pollinate pollinate pollination is very fast so pollen tube of cross pollinate pollen grains reach earlier inside the ovule this is termed prepotency it is a type of self incompatibility for example it takes place in apple and the grapes very important thing is the self sterility also refer to the self incompatibility or the intraspecific incompatibility in this condition what happens the pollen grains of the flower they cannot germinate on the stigma or the same flower so the no germination takes place at the stigma of the same flower then this is a parental or the genetical characteristic feature which is controlled by the genes it is a genetic feature which is controlled by some genes it takes place in petunia mollusca passiflora grapes apple and tobacco if the incompatibility is due to the genotype of the sporophyte this may be due to prevention of pollen germination retardation of growth the orientation of pollen tube or even failure of nuclear fusion now the agents of pollination here these are the the agents of cross pollination on the basis of agency of the agents cross pollination is of following types it may be biotic or the abiotic in case of biotic the living organisms carry out this process the animals so it's referred as the zoophily this type of cross pollination is carried by the birds by the insects by the bats snails salts whereas in case of biotic here the physical or the non living factors they are involved in the pollination mainly the wind and water and sometimes the gravity also plays its role it may be the anemophily and the hydrophily like this the agents of pollination mainly three the anemophily air or the wind main examples the are the sulfur shower mechanism or the gunpowder mechanism here it may be the hydrophily the water it may be epi hydrophily or the hypo hydrophily then the next one is the zoophily carried by the different types of animals it may be entomophily the insects it may be the ornithophily the birds it may be the charictophily that the bats it may be myrmecophily that is ants or the term, term, termites or the malacophily that is by the snails now the zoophily pollination through the agency of animals the most common animal pollinators are insects besides these are birds bats snails human beings some primates arboreal rodents reptiles are also carry out or help in this type of pollination these types of zoophilies are and these entomophily ornithophily it may be the charictophily it may be the marimacophily or it may be the malacophily now the entomophily the pollination which takes place with the help of insects known as entomophily it's observed that most of the insect pollination that is around 80% occurs only by the honeybees ornamental plants are mostly entomophilous these plants utilize their maximum energy in this pollination and develop different types of adaptations for attraction of insects these flowers are attracted with color and possess special fragrances with nectar glands for example lemon coriander onion apple pear eucalyptus brassica are the most members of the lamaci or the labetis labeti the families now the development of special adaptations some plants develop special adaptations for insect pollination such as liver mechanism or turnpipe turnpipe mechanism it's very famous the trap door mechanism the fly trap mechanism symbiotic relationships and also the bracts now the liver mechanism or the turnpipe mechanism it is observed in case of salvia the sag plant the salvia flowers have bilabate corolla here it has a bilabate corolla 
the connector of style is very long this this is the connector of style it's very long the interior in the interior anther lobe is fertile while posterior lobe is sterile here this is the fertile lobe whereas this anterior this one it is the sterile so one lobe is the sterile the fertile one then the st sterile one when the insect lands on the lobe lower lip here when it lands here what happens the fertile lobe of anther brings down to touch the back of the insect jo yahan par insect enter karta hai to ekdam niche ka jo lobe hai is pe jo thoda sa pressure aa jata hai automatically jo upar ka lobe hai wo niche aata hai wo niche aata hai aur iski back jo hoti hai insect ki wo is par pollen grain jo hai na drop kar deta hai and then what happens the insect and thus depositing the pollen grains on the back of the insect insect aur is tarah is par deposit karta hai then what happens ki jab ye fir ye visit karta hai yahan yahi par aap dekhiye ki jo hi yahan par ye pollen grains deposit ho jate hain uske baad carpel jo hai wo niche aati hai wo iske sath touch karti hai aur is tarah se yahan par pollination ho jati hai otherwise जब ये इंसेक्ट दूसरे फ्लावर को विजिट करता है तो इसी प्रोसेस के जरिए ऊपर की जो कार्पल जो है वो इसके बैग को टच करती है देन द डिपोजिशन ऑफ पोलन ऑन स्टिक माफ एन एदर फ्लावर विजिटेड बाय द बी दिस टेक्स प्लेस इन दिस वे हियर दिस टाइप ऑफ मैकेनिज्म इज नोन एज लीवर मैकेनिज्म और द टर्न पाइप मैकेनिज्म विच इज वेरी फेमस इन केस ऑफ दिस सोलविया ट्रैप डोर मैकेनिज्म what happens in the trap door mechanism it is found in the species of figs people are the fig injir ke andar aap ye dekhte hain here what happens as the high here what happens as the high panthodium type of inflorescence is present so the pollination is carried out by balistophaga insect one insect that is known as balistophaga insect it causes this type, this pollination jab injir ke इंजीर को खोल देते हैं तो अंदर जो रेड जून आपको नजर आता है जैसे पक्का हुआ लगता है दो हजार द फ्लावर्स वो इन फ्लोर्स है इंटरनल हाइपो थोरियम कॉल जैट द हाइपेथोरियम टाइप ऑफ इन फ्लोरिसंस तो इंसेक्ट जो है ना इस ओपनिंग से इसके अंदर चला जाता है बेलस्टोफेज इंसेक्ट इसके अंदर चला जाता है फिर अंदर यह पॉलिनेशन का काम अंजाम देता है इट्स ऑल्सो द सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशनशिप यहाँ पर बेलेस्टोफेज इंसेक्ट व्हेन इट गोज इनसाइड इट गेट्स द फूड न्यूट्रेशन एंड हियर इन रेस्पॉन्स वी कैन से इट हेल्प अस इन द पॉलिनेशन नो यू कैन सी दिस टाइप ऑफ पॉलिनेशन हियर देन दिस टाइप ऑफ पॉलिनेशन इज नोन एज दिस मैकेनिज्म इज रेफर एज द ट्रैप डोर मैकेनिज्म where in case of the fly trap mechanism this is a fly trap mechanism it is found in aristolochia this flower is known as pitfall flower here the flower is funnel shaped this it is the funnel shaped that seeing here that is funnel shaped and has viscous material and smell like rotten leaves of the tobacco insects are trapped like in prison due to this In smell insect goes inside and they are trapped trapped inside but as a result of that they also carry out the pollination now the symbiotic relationship it is observed in case of eucopplant this is the eucopplant what happens in eucopplant develops symbiotic relationship with the insect pronoba moth this is a pronoba moth here pronoba here the pollination is carried by the female pronoba moth who lays eggs in the ovary of the yucca here in this ovary it lays its eggs the insect lays the eggs inside life cycle of both depends on each other so this is this here both gets the benefit both are benefited we call it the symbiotic relation the relations then the bracts this cross pollination also takes place by the bracts some of the flowers have attract to bracts that is bright and the color 
which are generally observed in case of this bougainvillea villa which attract many insects and as a result of that the pollination is complete then ornithophilus his it is the pollination by birds such birds are usually small sized with long beaks common examples sunbird and the hummingbird this is the a very interesting type of pollination which is carried generally these two birds are very famous the sunbird and the humming bird here two common types of tropical pollinating birds are the sunbirds it is seen in afro asian areas and the humming bird it is the american bird which is called humming bird they perform pollination while hovering over the flowers here sunbirds alight over the shoots supporting flowers or occasionally rest over the flowers as a result of that the pollination is yeah the pollination took place now the and the type that's known as a, as cryptophily the pollination carried by bats bats parrots or terrapus the bats are nocturnal flying mammals it is known to you which can transport pollen it is known that they can transport the pollen very long over to the long distance up to the 30 kilometers more than 30 kilometers the flowers they visit are large dull colored with strong scent commonly in case of this anthocephalus cadamba or some other plants the adesonia the bohinia or the kegela the seed we can call it the salt sack tree the, the pollination is carried by these bats now the myrmecophila myrmecophili is the pollination bring about by termites and the ants commonly observed in case the acacia type of the plants and some members of rubaceae now the malacophili malacophili or malmacophili it is the pollination by the snails you can observe the snails near these cobra plants when you observe the fee go into the fields when you find the arsema the cobra plant definitely you can see the snails around in that area and they are these organisms they cause the pollination in in these plants also in case of chrysanthemum in case of lamina and the spd straw lurida now the biotic agents first it is the air or the wind anemophily when the pollen grains are transferred from one flower to the another flower through the air the flower where such pollination takes place are called anemophilous flowers the anemophilous flower they produce enormous amount of the pollen grains it is more common among abiotic pollinations it is non directional they have no direction and they go in all directions and wasteful process here a large amount of or the quantity of these pollen grains are lost common in maize sugar cane coconut bamboo cannabis grasses dates so you can here see the how these this type of pollination takes place sulfur shower is common you can you have maybe might you have observed it the yellow clouds formed in the sky during the wind pollination in pinus due to the pollen grains this is known as sulfur shower hydrophily when the pollination is carried by water it is known as hydrophily it is quite rare in angiosperms and is limited to about 30 genera mostly monocotyledonous all aquatic plants like water hyacinth and water lily the flowers emerge above the level of water and are pollinated by the insects or the or wind it may be the epihydrophily or the hypohydrophily in case of epihydrophily what happens when the pollination takes place on the surface of the water here the pollination takes place at the surface of the water commonly observed in case of this valesnera here what happens in this valesnera it's a dioecious rooted submerged aquatic plant 
in which male flowers are small and lightweight these may they are small and lightweight female flowers have very long coiled pedicels which uncoil when they become mature male flowers float at the surface of water as soon as they the male flowers touch the female flowers as soon as they touch the female female flower what happens the female flowers in their lobe they burst stem receives a pollen grain and pedicels again coil back hydrophily hypohydrophily when the pollination takes place inside the water commonly you can observe in case of zoster this is the zoster state is a marine water plant female flowers remain submerged in water the pollen grains are long ribbon like and are carried passively inside the water some of them reach the stigma and achieve the pollination so this is all about the pollination its different types in the coming we we can go through the or we can discuss on the fertilization fertilization it is different types events and the different events and it is significant thanks